And now the latest on the leak of classified documents from the Pentagon. There's new information on what U.S. intelligence agencies knew about Chinese spy balloons. Plus, questions are starting to grow about why the suspect had top security secur security clearance. ABC's Martha Raditz has more. This morning, new revelations from that trove of leaked top secret documents. This time, eye-popping information about Chinese spy balloons, like the one that the U.S. shot down in January after it passed over sensitive national security sites. The Washington Post reporting that the leaks reveal U.S. intelligence agencies were aware of up to four additional Chinese spy balloons, including one that flew over a U.S. carrier strike group in the Pacific and a another that crashed in the South China Sea. The suspect charged with transmitting that information, Airman Jack Teixeira, arrested at his Massachusetts home on Thursday, worked as a computer technician with the Massachusetts Air National Guard. He made his first court appearance on Friday, accused of violating parts of the Espionage Act. Teixeira had high-level top-secret clearance, which the Pentagon has said was needed to do his job. But lawmakers from both sides of the aisle are demanding more answers. We need to know the facts. We need to know uh, who this airman was, why he felt he had the authority or ability to show off confidential documents, secret documents to his friends. The system failed. This is a major failure. Some people need to be fired over this. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Antony Blinken arriving in Japan for a G7 summit, trying to calm allies. What I've heard so far, at least, is um, an appreciation for the, uh, the steps that we're taking. And uh, it's not affected our cooperation. I just haven't seen that. But there is no question a leak like this is damaging, not only revealing secret information, but in some cases the sources and methods used by the intelligence community to obtain it. Court documents show someone with a username linked to the suspect began posting the documents to an online chat room back in December.